So far, this is day five of daily uploads. Today's topic is how the GTO came about. So the situation was, I had previously had a little E36 BMW. It was a 318 IS, and I actually really, really liked that car. But um, I was starting to have issues and you know, I want, I had all these dreams and aspirations to actually LS swap that one a long, long time ago. And um, I just was not able to, I didn't think it was feasible. And I really needed a reliable car for work and, and also just to get around. And I just thought that it was a good time to buy a new car. Now the thing with the GTO is I wasn't really trying to buy the GTO. I, I really liked the GTO straight away, but it took a lot of convincing for my wife and for my dad and a couple other people um, to really convince me to go for it and buy the car that I really wanted. Um, because honestly, deep down, I, I have a hard time with spending money unless like something else pays for it. So if, if my normal job didn't pay for the GTO. It was all BMX shows, selling bike parts, and you know, this is a common theme with how I got the supercharger and a lot of other things in my life. Now at this time, BMX was really awesome for me. I was actually really, really pushing very, very hard. Um, I was doing quite a bit of shows. I had went to South Korea to compete. That year, I ended up making it fifth place, which was awesome. I made money coming back. Um, and if, if you other BMXers know, making money from a contest is a really, really good feeling, especially because of how expensive it is to go and travel to compete. It's really awesome when you make more than what you spent. So I came out with the positive and then um, it, it was an, definitely, definitely a great time for sure. Now she is witness, I talked about doing the LSA supercharger actually almost a whole year before I actually pulled the trigger and made it happen. Um, you know, the, the car was a dream. I, I, I'll, be, I'll be really, really honest with you guys. Um, I never seen myself being able to own something of that caliber, let alone build it myself. I've always been into cars. I've always wanted to do a lot and I've messed it around with a lot of cars, but I've never really been able to go all in on one and make it how I envisioned it. And that is the GTO for me right now. Honest, like I really deprived myself of a lot of stuff for a long long time um, a lot of people call it delayed gratification but honestly it wasn't it wasn't even that I was delaying it's just I you know I'm a, I try to be extremely responsible with everything that I do and I try to have a plan of attack for everything that I do so the fact that you guys are seeing everything that I'm doing now is the fruits of our labor not just mine but my wife's um, with her support and everything that's going on, you know, it, it's, we are truly blessed and like I, I can't believe everything that I'm able to do at this point. I, I've only, you know, made my dreams that much bigger. Like I, once I did the GTO, I feel like I could do, make the Beamer that much more crazy than the GTO could ever be. A lot of you guys are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, don't, don't put all your focus into the BMW, but in all honesty, I like the idea of a really light car and a lot of power. So that is what is going on for right now.
pretty much just a quick update for you guys today. Thanks for all your support once again. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video.